I think the clearest connection between Bletchley Park and AI is that it was a place where collaboration took place between great minds, where people came together to solve problems. Here at Bletchley Park, we will be holding the world's first ever global summit on AI safety. It is a very fitting venue, given this is the home of computing and is steeped in history. And it's here that we see the mechanisation of intelligence work. As part of that work, they also end up employing the first modern computers. We have electromechanical machines used at Bletchley Park from quite early in the war, and they're used to attack modern machine ciphers. The principle is that if a cipher is being produced by a machine, you sort of need a machine to crack it. By the middle of the war, the machines that they're using take the step from being single-purpose code-breaking machines to computers. The first computer used here is called Colossus. What the codebreakers realise is that they can modify the way the machine runs to do different tasks, and that's when we make the step into something that's identifiable as a computer. They're not using anything that we can identify as AI, but they're thinking about it. People like Jack Good, Donald Mickey, Alan Turing. His Turing test is an idea that if you have a machine that can think, an artificial intelligence, and you place that in a closed room where the human can't see, whether they're talking to a machine or another person, if the computer is able to pass itself off effectively as a human being uh, and the observer can't tell the difference, then it's passed the Turing test. And then you'll know that it's uh, a true artificial intelligence. The other name he has for this is uh, The Imitation Game, of course, the name given to the film, which is the uh, biopic of Alan Turing. Bletchley Park is one of the places where they are working together for the first time, bouncing ideas back and forth. They came together from many backgrounds, many different perspectives, male and female, old and young, civilian and military, and they combined their efforts to solve the problems that they face. That's exactly the sort of attitude that we need to uh, embody today.